Bit by bit, we're all being encouraged to switch from double to triple glazing. Now, we're all interested in improving the energy performance of our windows, whether you're planning to replace the windows in your existing home, adding new ones through an extension, or even building from scratch. This video, with the help of Everest, sets out to help those of you who are considering triple glazed windows how to make a clear and informed decision about how to proceed. Triple glazing is the next logical step if double glazing is no longer cutting it. The system is made up of three layers of glass set within a frame, separated either by a vacuum or a gas-filled space. And that improves the thermal performance of the windows, it adds to the acoustic performance and also makes the windows more secure. So with all those benefits, it's natural to assume that triple glazing is always going to be more suitable than double glazing. However, things are not that simple. The rough and ready method for comparing the performance of windows is the U-value measurement, just as it is for floors, walls, and roofs. But what exactly is that? Every window, single, double, or triple glazed, will have a window efficiency rating, or WER. You can find the rating on this sticker, which all new windows will carry. There are three factors that are tested. These are air leakage, this is the base of a quality window, Air leaking in causes cold drafts. Air escaping means heat loss, so you'll be spending more on your energy bills to compensate. The lower the L factor, the better the window and frame perform against air leakage. Ideally, you're looking for a value of 0.00 watts per meter squared Kelvin. Number two is thermal transmittance. Similar to the air leakage test, this measures how good a window is at preventing heat escaping from inside. The lower the transmittance, U value, the less heat can be lost through the window, and therefore the indoor temperature will be more consistent. An ideal value would be 1.00 watts per meter squared degree Kelvin. But anything below 1.3 watts per meter squared degree Kelvin is going to keep your house from losing heat in any noticeable way. And third, solar factor. When sunlight passes through a window, heat in the house will increase. This is known as solar gain. A window with a high solar gain, that's the G factor, and this is particularly true for windows with low iron glass, will be effective at allowing heat from the sun into your home. This can be handy during the winter months. The combination of the three factors provide you with the overall energy index rating. And the efficiency rating bar keeps rising as technology gets better, which runs from E to A++. An example of this is the Everest triple glazed casement window with thermal enhancer. So you would think that triple glazing would perform better in all three areas, so having it installed would be a no-brainer. But that's not so. If your house is under shade or north facing, it's not going to have as much sunlight creating heat indoors, especially during the winter months. So triple glazing could certainly help stop heat escaping and cold drafts from entering your home. However, if your house is south facing and is exposed to plenty of sunlight, then double glazing allows more sunlight through into the home to help heat your house more naturally. If you're living in sunny Eastbourne or one of the warmer parts of the UK, then double glazing would be recommended. But cold, wet areas such as the Scottish Highlands or the Northwest would demand a triple glaze system to stand up to the wind and rain. There's more to triple glazing than just its heating and insulative properties. If you happen to live near a busy road, an airport, or a noisy factory, then the acoustic properties of your double glazed units are probably being tested to their limits on a daily basis. Triple glazed window units are usually made with argon gas, filling the space between the three layers of glass. Argon is a gas that's heavier than air, so as well as improving the thermal performance of the windows, it also provides a very effective acoustic barrier. Another benefit of triple glazed windows is an added layer of security. Both triple glazed and double glazed windows offer benefits over traditional single glazed windows because of the thickness of the glass that's used, because of internal beading that prevents the glazing units from being removed from the outside, and because of multi-point locking systems. The security can be measured by Secured by Design and PAS24 testing. Secured by Design is a UK police initiative promoting products that help reduce crime. And in order to achieve Secured by Design status, products have to adhere to the organisation's rigorous test standards. So, now we know about the properties of triple glazing, let's take a look at installing it into your home. 
if you're considering installing triple glazing, uh, weight is the main challenge. Uh, our manufacturers will only supply a unit with a maximum weight of 150 kilos. Uh, 150 kilos relates to a glass size of about 2 meters by 2.5 meters, which is a big pane of glass. And then you've got to consider where that window is going to be installed. Is it upstairs? Is it on level ground? Is it downstairs? Easy accessible? That is the main consideration when, when installing. triple glazed unit is 36 millimetres, our double glazed is 28 millimetres and the difference is taken up by the difference in the bead, so the internal glazing bead size is bigger for a double glazed unit. The frame thickness is always the same, so back to front the depth is 70 millimetres and the overall face is round about 92 millimetres. So exactly the same on double and triple glazing and similar to other competitors. Apart from the conventional white PVC frames that are familiar, we do a range of different colours. These colours are achieved by foiling the outside, which is a laminate that goes on the outside, typically uh, a wood grain effect. We also do seamless welds, which is a, a joint on the mitres which, which can't be seen. Uh, and we do different combinations so you can have a different colour outside to inside. If I was specifying for a, a, a triple glaze unit, the bigger gaps between the unit would be a benefit and the, the particular coatings would be a benefit as well and obviously as I said before, the, the, the type of gas that's in there. The size of the unit and the performance of the unit would reflect in the WR rating for sure. A reliable supplier should always specify the correct type of glazed unit for each aspect of your property. If you're speaking to an installer, you should be asking for their uh, energy ratings, the WER rating. Is it gas filled? Is it soft coated? Does it conform to building regulations? You should be asking about reinforcement, whether the frames are reinforced, especially on the foil finishes. Uh, we reinforce all our foils fully, and we reinforce our white PVC over certain sizes and you should also be asking about accreditation such as fencer registration, GGF, um, installation methods and whether they are conforming to building regulations. Typically you would get a 10 year guarantee on most sealed units. Uh, we offer a lifetime guarantee at Everest on all our triple glazed and double glazed units. And that's against uh, what we call sealed unit failure, so that's when you get moisture in between the glass and fog in between the sealed units. Where is the locations of the windows, typically the size of the windows, a general specification when you want PVC, aluminium, timber. You would, it would be helpful to know about access and obviously the, what the project is, is it a new build? Is it refurbishment? Is it just a typical replacement window project? So compared to double glazing, a triple glazed window would has additional benefits such as the, the insulation value of the window, obviously the security of the window with an extra pane, and finally it can improve the sound insulation on a property. So thanks to Everest and Home Building and Renovating, hopefully you now know a great deal more about triple glazing and whether or not it's right for your home. If you want to know more, visit homebuilding.co.uk or get in touch with Everest.